In a 250-year-old London embroidery house, they're sewing and snipping, drawing and designing ahead of the biggest night of their year. It's a bit daunting sending something, you know, that's fragile from the other side of the world. Among the crowd is Sydney artist Christina Newbury. She's one of two Australians with a chance of winning a prestigious hand and lock prize for her stunning neck piece. When I completed this work, my fingers were full of holes because I just can't seem to use a thimble. And, you know, they were bleeding and, and really quite sore. So it's no, you know, I guess they sort of talk about this gentle art and it, it sort of felt like anything but when I was finished. Other finalists include a mirrored covered coat inspired by Sydney Harbour, an intricate interpretation of a card from China and some English artworks loosely based on the TV series Game of Thrones. More than 500 people from across the globe have entered these awards and each piece, like this handmade phoenix, has involved hundreds and hundreds of hours of work. Hand and Lock, which runs the event, has counted military regiments, royalty and high fashion houses among its clients since the 18th century and hopes the $55,000 in prize money encourages more people to take up embroidery as a hobby. There are 32 people exhibiting, I think, Six will come away with prizes. That's fairly good odds given you have two Australians in the mix. Judging takes place in the early hours of tomorrow morning, but this craft is so time consuming, some are already starting to stitch or sketch next year's entry. James Glenday, ABC News, London.